Hello there, I'm Mel, and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Art style is a huge point of admiration and contention within the art community, and for plenty of good reasons. Everyone wants to have a style recognized as theirs, or replicate a genre so well that they're indiscernible from one another. Neither of these things are necessarily wrong to want, but it is wrong how often these are prioritized in art, especially for beginner and new artists. New artists should be encouraged to build upon their likes and dislikes before they're thrown to the wolves that is separation of artists. Art style consists of so much, and you won't have your own personal style until you learn what it is you like in your art. What palettes do you like? How do you like to draw bodies, face shapes, eyes, line weight, and style? And these are all just surface levels. Another aspect of art style is what it is you actually like drawing. Reoccurring themes, characters, colors, backgrounds, and so forth also build and mold a style into being your own. If you haven't gathered, these are all things you will learn through trial and error. You won't have your catered style overnight, and it's something that will grow and change with you as you discover your artistic preferences. I'll say this again. You will not have a personal style overnight. And that's okay. So often it's pushed onto artists that you need to separate yourself from others, but I don't think that this is a good practice at all. You should learn all you can from the artists around you. Building your skill sets will aid in the finding of your preferences. Art is a product of environment and the way the artist interprets it. Environment can be translated into many things. The art you enjoy, the shows you consume, your favorite movies, the events in your life, the books you read, and more. Instead of throwing yourself into catered styles, you should learn and play around with the content that makes you the happiest to create. Do you enjoy OC art, fandom art, realism, photography? If you couldn't tell, the listings are endless. I'll be the first to tell you that my art is far from perfect, but I am able to be confident in and pump out so much of it in short periods of time because I have taken years to play around and discover what it is I liked and wanted to draw. Through long periods of error and discovery, I came to a point of stylistic understanding I was happy with. Thanks to all the time I took to really explore my style has granted me the ability to be pretty speedy and consistent in my content. While I may be a small artist, I make a good chunk of my income off of commissions and art shows in my city. This wouldn't have ever been possible for me had I not taken the time to explore my styles and compositions. Now you may be wondering, well how do I explore my options? And the answer is super easy. Enjoy the content you normally do. We all have something that inspired us to draw, so consume that. It's okay to replicate the styles of animes, cartoons, shows, or other artist styles you enjoy. This is how you will start the process of learning the basics to art. And from here, play around with creating art similar to the art you enjoy to consume. Like cutesy stuff? Draw it! Like gore? Go crazy! Like both? Time to combine, baby! Combination will be huge. The more you combine, learn, replicate, and eventually branch off, the more you learn and grow into your own style. Be free to draw and don't let pressure from the community deter you. The most important part to art is to have fun with it. Sorry there wasn't much, but I hope you enjoyed the content regardless, and if you liked me and my silly art, check me out on Ko-Fi. I have monthly tiers that offer free and discounted commissions, behind the scenes, early video access, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.